Hello everyone, this is Shan Mugaraj. A warm welcome to you. Yesterday we talked about project management standard. What is a project management standard? Who are the audience of it? And what are the key terms and concepts behind it? Right? So today we are going to talk about the second section of project management standard as part of the box 7th edition. It is, it is a system of value delivery. We need to understand what are the constituents or elements of a system of value delivery. Right? If, if you are a company, you are running a company and you are delivering a product or a service which is considered to be a value to a customer or organization, whatever it is, to create a value delivery, you need to have certain system components. What are they? Creating value itself, one of the component of system value delivery. And other, other areas are organizational governance system, functions associated with projects, the project environment itself, and the product management considerations. So we are going to discuss each five elements one by one. Let us talk about what we mean by creating value. Creating a value, nothing but creating a new product or a service or a result that meets needs of customers or end users. It can be a software application or it can be a production support service, it can be an IT service or it can be a, a car, it can be a two wheeler or it can be you know insurance product or it can be a deliverable, an artifact, which is meeting the customer needs. Creating value will also create positive societal and environmental contributions. Right? If you look at a project like a metro rail project, or a national highway project, or building a library, or building a museum, which is an example of creating positive social and environment contributions. Creative value means improving the efficiency, improving the productivity, effectiveness and responsiveness. Right? A software application can improve the productivity and artificial intelligence software and a Machine learning software will improve the efficiency and productivity of an organization. Right? It is quite possible, right? Creating value means is enabling the changes needed to facilitate organization transition. Right? So for example, I'm currently heading agile transformation for one of our internal teams of our IT service company. We are enabling changes from converting all the waterfall projects into agile projects. So it is creating a lot of business agility to our organization to get the desired future state whatever we wanted to have as part of the business value or organization agility, whatever you call it. Creative value also sustaining the benefits enabled by previous programs or projects or business operations. Right? So these are the five ways you can define or you can create a value to the customer, to the organization, or to the business. Right? What are the value delivery components? Right? A value delivery, a system of value delivery component have many components like portfolio, program, and projects. Your program is a group of projects then in a coordinated manner. The portfolio is a group of program and projects and operations. Right? So all these activities within the portfolio, program or project or operations is called system of value delivery. These are the components of value delivery system. And there are internal and external environment to the system. Then we will talk about what are the examples of internal external environment in upcoming slides. Right? 
So in nutshell, a value delivery system comprises of certain portfolios, number of programs and projects and operations within the portfolio, right? within multiple portfolios or sub-portfolios sub within itself. And it is governed, governed by internal and external environment. How is the information flow within the value delivery of a system? Right? What are the information flow in value delivery system? Right? We talked about portfolio, program, projects and operation which are part of value delivery system. Right? So if you look at information flow, a senior leadership communicates, provides strategy for portfolio management leaders. Portfolio leaders provide desired outcomes and benefits for program managers and project managers teams. Right? Programs and projects you know, provide information on deliverables with supports and maintenance information to operations. So this is how the information flow starts from a senior leadership and goes through till operations. The information flow which or in gray color, which is of reverse in nature. Operation is giving an information in a reverse manner in terms of its updates, fixes, and adjustments. The program and projects is providing the performance information and progress to the portfolios. The portfolio performance information goes to senior leaderships. The, all the outcomes and benefits and value performance analysis goes to from uh, portfolios and programs and operations to senior leadership. So this is how the information flow is, you know, looks in a value delivery system. It's very important to understand how the information flow, you know, uh, uh, forward and backward. Right. The second element of value delivery system is organization governance system. Right. Project management office or program management office is one of the examples of organization governance system. Some companies have PMO as part of their governance system. Some companies, they have their own program management way of governing it within the program itself. The governance system works along with value delivery system. What it enables, smooth workflows, manage issues, and critically support decision making. Governance system provide a framework with functions and processes that guide activities. A governance framework can include elements of oversight, control, value assessment, integration among components, and decision making capabilities. So governance system can provide an integrated structure for evaluating changes, issues and risk associated with the environment. Right? These include portfolio objectives, program benefits and deliverables produced by the projects. So in, the, in, a, in a essence, you can assume organization governance system has different forms you can consider the quality assurance system is one of the governance system because in a company quality assurance system will govern over ISO standards or SOC standards. Similarly, an agile PMO will take care of agile framework, agile governance, agile metrics and everything. Similarly, project management office will give an infrastructure in terms of project management standards, project management framework, and processes, tools and techniques and methods. It also provides trainings to project managers. It's very essential. One of the key elements of value system delivery is organization government system. Right? The third element of value delivery system is the functions associated with the projects. Right? As we looked at earlier what are the components of value delivery system 
portfolio, sub portfolio, programs and projects, right, and operations. What are the functions within the projects? Who all are will do these functions, right? There are eight functions associated with projects or program management or project management, whatever you call that, right? First function is providing oversight and coordination, right? It could be an executive leadership who provides high level oversight, high level executive leadership, providing a vision and vision to the company or to a you know, set of product managers. Right? A product manager can provide an oversight and vision, vision of a product. The next function is presenting objectives and feedback. Right? This is also one of the functions of executive leadership. Right? Your executive leadership or your you know, top level leadership will provide, present what are the objectives of this portfolio. What are the strategic themes of this particular program? And they also provide the feedback in terms of project performance and they will you know, give you a lot of ideas to improve the programs and performance. The third function of project is facilitate and support. Right? One of the key examples in Agile world is a Scrum Master. Scrum Masters are one of the servant leadership who facilitate and support Scrum team or Agile teams, whatever you call that. Similarly, the project manager, the project coordinator, the program manager, right, or a governance system will provide a facilitation as well as a support, right. The fourth function associated with the project is performing the work itself and contribute to the insights, right. See, if you look at the cross-functional team, right, you need a people to perform work. Whether you are creating a software application, whether you are building a bridge, whether you are building a house, whatever, somebody needs to perform the actual work. So this is one of the key functions associated with that. Applying the expertise. You need, to, you need to perform different forms of work, different skill set you need. People need to apply their expertise. In a software development, you need development people to, you know, to create a Java code, to create a code in microservices, React, JS, or what you call that. Similarly, you need people to apply functional expertise like business analyst. You need you know, design experts, architects. So different type of skills that you need to apply their expertise to perform the work and support. And another critical function is providing a business direction and insight. This is another area of executive leadership. A marketing department can provide a business direction and insights, right? And the seventh function associated with the projects are providing resources and direction. You need, you might need functional leaders, horizontal leaders, who provide a testing resources, who provide development resources, who who recruit a competency, you know, development team will provide recruit resources, hire resources, and they provide resources to the implementation projects. And the eighth function is maintaining the governance. Someone like PMO, program manager, is, is there to maintain the governance of the project. Right? These are the eight functions associated with projects. What are the what is the fourth element of value delivery system? The project environment itself. We have two types of environments. One is internal environment within the organization. And the second is the external environment, which is outside the organization. What are the examples of internal environment? The process as such, right? Your lesson slimes, right? Is one of the processes. Your knowledge assets, your process frameworks, your tools, your templates, right? Your data assets, organization culture, structure, governance system, this is some of the examples of internal environment. Your geographic distribution of facilities and resources. One of the key elements of internal environment. What are the, some of the examples of external environment? Market condition. You may be selling your product in India, in South Africa, in the US, or wherever you want. You need to understand what are the market conditions based on your geography. 
you might be bound to industry standards. Steel industry has its own standards. Software industry has its own standards. Car industry has its own standards, right? Then you have a regulatory environment. You have a regulatory bodies like SEBI, right? Insurance regulatory system is there. Banking, RBI, someone like you know, Reserve Bank of India. Central Bank has a regulatory uh, system. Social and cultural influences. Every country has a different cultural influence to it. So these are the, you know, some of the examples of external environment, right? Which is the key component of validating your system. What is the last component of validation system is the product management consideration itself. You need to consider the product management within your program or a portfolio. This particular diagram talk about the product life cycle phases and how it comprises of or being a part of a program or being a part of or how is the you know products is being developed by different projects right look at this program it says that one product is being part of one portfolio governance it has two programs the introduction and grow is considered to be a program a and maturity and retirement is in program B. You have number of projects to create the product and implement more features and enhancements to the product, which is part of development program. There is a program B is there to maintain and support. You have number of products to have number of upgrades for particular customers, for different customers of a different jackets, right? That's where the product is getting mature. That's where you get more sales. You improve your sales to across the different geographies and markets. So you might have number of implementation projects when you the product is getting mature. And the, finally, the product is getting retired, and that's also managed as part of the product closure or the project closure projects, right? So this this how you need to consider your product management within your components of value system delivery, which are portfolios and programs and projects, right? The product management considerations is exist in different forms. We want to discuss. Three different forms available in current channel. Right? You can handle program management within a product life cycle. As we seen in the previous diagram, right? We had a number of programs within the product life cycle. You can handle project management within the product life cycle. Within the product life cycle, you can have number of programs and number of portfolios and number of projects. The third form of product management consideration is the product management within a program. Right? This approach applies the full product life cycle within the purview and boundaries of a given program. So you handle entire program for a product management. Right? One particular program dedicated for one particular product management. One program covers entire product life cycle for a particular product. Right? You can handle computer analysis, customer acquisition, and customer advocacy. All these things can be within one program. Right? Within a product life cycle, you can have multiple programs. Within a program, you can handle multiple products. Right? So this is the very important element of value delivery system, right? Thank you.